uh, we're outside. outside. Okay. And, and um, oh, there she is. There's Whoopi. Whoopi's here. Here, Whoopi. Whoopi's <laughs> running. Hi, <laughs> Whoopi. That's our new. Oops, new cat. She just ditched. You can't see her. And this is Mary's <laughs> gardening experience. <laughs> this is my gardening experience. This is beautiful. They take the tomatoes were this big. There was so many of them, quite a few of them. Yeah. And I, I maybe I have a black thumb, but this I was pretty proud of this and came out here to water them the other night. Look what we got. Did Look what happened? And my first reaction did, did I have a neighbor that I started like laughing that? because I laughing. knew exactly what happened. Laughing. This guy laughed. I laughed and laughed. He and laughed. laughed. You know because we we have such black thumbs. And we were really so proud of this. And then the next thing we know, the deer came in deer. in the middle of the night and lunched it. <laughs> show, show this our uh, little uh, parkway here. This is our yeah. senior mobile home park. And you wouldn't think deer would be along here. Well, they come in through the front. No yeah. gates. So they just they, walk uh, right in. Camino Real is the main street in the Tascadero. But they would be jumping all over the place yeah. if they could. Must have come that way. There's a pool and a courthouse. Or a courthouse. What do you? Clubhouse. Yeah. Okay, and then down here, isn't this nice? This is nice. I guess the deers think, deer think so too. They got our neighbor's roses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, the mercury's rising. This is our, our view down the, the mall, as they call it. Yeah. Well, we got some pretty tall old uh, pine trees here leaning. And, uh, oh, look at that, really? The neighbors like to, uh, the uh, park manager likes to take them out as soon as he can figure out how to get rid of them. <laughs> this is what we've been told. So we have to yeah. realize that that's probably what happens. I guess and you can show the front of our coach. Well, we're not, um, we don't own this place. We've been living here nearly three years. Yeah. We're renting it, the price is right. The space for the price of the rent is pretty good. And even at this age, we're saving our money to buy a house somewhere. Yeah. But the prices in California are something else. Yeah, 500000 450000 yeah. well, They're coming in this down neighborhood. a little bit, but you know. They haven't taken as big a hit here as they have anywhere else. So. Yeah. So. Well, most of the people came here and brought their own money and owned their houses. So. Mm -hmm. We're on our way to Morro Bay where it says it's going to be six. The high is 63. Woo, that's amazing. So. Hi, babe. Hey, we're ready to roll here. Yeah. Big time. There you go. Yeah. Hey, just for today, we got enough money. Here you go. Here you go, babe. Oh, good. All right. I'm rich. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Now we're going to the cool ocean for a little while. Yeah, we are. Then we'll come back and enjoy our beautiful day at the fair. Tascadero, I almost forgot. I don't know how I could have about the uh, war, our brand new, it's a couple years old war memorial. Look at this. Thank you to our soldiers for their service. The faces of freedom. This is awesome. Look at that. Look at this. Wow. World War One, World War Two, World War Three, like you hear in the background, just repeating what she said. Wow. I guess this is one of the biggest ones on the uh, West Coast. Yes, it is. Been to Arlington, you know, and it's not as big as Arlington, but um, it's pretty impressive. So here we have Plato, the great philosopher. Plato, over there? He says, only the dead have seen the end of war. Wow. World War I, 1914 to 1918. See some familiar names on there. William Reeves. You have yeah. a friend named William. <laughs> no, it's not his father, I don't think. No. World War II, and this is the war my father was in. And I'm gonna come this October. I'm gonna uh, buy a brick for him, and I'll show you a friend. We have a friend whose wife, whose wife bought him a brick. He passed away six months ago, and I'm gonna do the same for my dad. He passed away in '74, but you know he was a captain in the army during World War II. Oh, here's the back. Here's the back of the bronze sculpture. Amazing. Faces of Freedom, it's called. 
It was completed November 8, 2008. The sculptor was Mark Greenaway. I'll just read the top paragraph here. It said, The Faces of Freedom sculpture is a tribute to the men and women who have served in the American military. Ah, it chokes me up. The statue is a timeline that represents the self-service, I can't believe it, <laughs> of our military since the beginning of World War I to the present. Wow. At the far right of the sculpture and on point is a figure that represents the modern day Marine soldier. Marine slash soldier, leading, vigilant, committed. He is joined at the hip to a desert storm soldier who in turn is lending aid to a stricken Vietnam hero. Beyond and behind these figures proudly waves the American flag emblazoned with the many faces of those men and women who have valiantly secured and protected our nation's freedoms. We are grateful that their commitment and sacrifice, like the threads of our flag, unites us all as Americans. On this side of the statue is the head of the bald eagle, part of the great seal of the United States. It not only signifies strength and power, but serves as a reminder of those who have given so much that we might live free. I can't help but be grateful. Vietnam War, I knew people, you know, those are the guys I grew up with. A lot of them died and a lot of, you know, contention about all that, you know. A lot, <laughs> you know, the war protests. I lived through that as a kid. We saw the, that war on TV as I was growing up, the Cold War. That went on for an awful long time. And now, presently, the global war on terror. And here's uh, some flower tributes. And now, uh, Keith read, Only the dead have seen the end of war. Plato, Greek philosopher, 1427 B.C. to 347 B.C. And just, you know, take another look at this after having read that moving uh, tribute. Wow. The Gulf War connected to the Vietnam. Well, amazing. Now, our friend Pete Peterson has a brick here, but by his friend, by his friend, his friend and wife, Mary, of over 20 years. Now, where's Pete? There he is, Carl Peterson. Carl, Carl G. Peterson, 1930 to 2009, USNR and USAF 48 to 60. Well, AF is Air Force, Navy R Reserves, USNR, and his uh, saying he used to say to everybody was, have I told you lately that I love you? Love Pete. Yeah. The Trascadero, Moron Bay. My husband's so positive. <laughs> He's actually funny though, yeah. He is funny. We have a good time, don't we honey? He makes me laugh. Yes, I laugh. Yes. You laugh at my laugh when, you laugh at my burned I up tomatoes. When, I laugh when the deer <laughs> ate the tomatoes. The deer ate the tomatoes. Later. I never see anybody <laughs> shot. I couldn't believe it. Oh. Look, right here. Turn right. Turn right. That's the lake. Got to go around the lake. Well, that's the and then it's okay, we gotta get the whole scenic group here. Yes. Yeah, here we are. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we will be out of town. We'll see the other great body of water. Pacific Ocean. See right here. I'm talking about you know looking at these homes and all the big homes up here. Up on the hill. Up on the hill, high on the hill, la la la. And uh, you know, as far as us buying a house here, it's pretty tough because you can't. Uh, you know, it's hard to qualify. We're starting to make enough money that we can almost get in on the bottom ladder, which would be around 280, 300 thousand dollar house. That would still be a lot of money every month, but we can do that. But it's a real challenge to get enough money to be able to do that, especially at my age. I'm 67, and Mary is a little younger than me. But we'll get a house one day. It'll be nice. I'm 58 years old, and I've never owned my own house. Keith has. He's Six gone. of them. Yeah. I know people who own houses. They always not as all saw to work. It's not always cracked up to be. Yeah. But you know, I, I would like to have a house of my own. Doesn't have to be big. Yeah, well, you can't go anywhere once fancy. you got it. You got to stay there, and take care of it. Oh, you can go away for. You can have house sitters. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. One of these days. <laughs>